Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really awesome sci-fi um, abstract stylized kind of moon with the two colors. It's really simple. We're going to be using free textures that I'm going to put in the description below. So you're going to go to this side here. That's where the link is going to take you. You're going to come to this one here called color, go to the download, and you can pick whichever one of these sizes you want. I went with the 4K one right here. And then you're also going to scroll down a little bit, go to the displacement section, go down to this little download tab and download whichever one of these you want. I went with this one right here, the, the 5,761. So you can go and download those two, put them in the desktop or wherever, and we're going to be using them in this tutorial. So once again, this is the scene, like pretty straightforward, really awesome. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so we have a brand new scene opened up in Blender 2.83. Go ahead and hit A to select everything in our scene and then X and delete. Shift A, search, and go get to your mesh options, and we're going to get a UV sphere. With our UV sphere still selected, go to our modifiers tab here, add modifier, and we're going to add a subdivision surface. Go to our object settings here, and we're going to make it shade smooth. Here we have a moon. It's all done. So let's go Shift A, and let's get a camera. Hit zero to go into our camera view. Hit the G key, and then hold in the middle mouse wheel and pull back on our mouse to pull out like so. Get a pose you like, go to your camera settings, make the focal length whatever you want. I like 85. I'm just going to pull my camera back a little bit more using the same G middle mouse wheel. Okay, that's cool. Here we have it, a moon and a camera. So that's our scene done. So let's get into our materials and see how we can make this look awesome. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is come and select our moon, go to our materials tab. We're going to add a new material and let's call it moon. And with that done, go to your world settings here, go to your color, make it fully black because space is black. And then go to your render settings here, enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. And now when we're done with that, let's go to our shading and we're going to have to use the two textures I showed you guys earlier to download. So the first one we're going to do is grab the color. So grab the color one, shift a search and get an image texture. And then I'm going to find that first image. So I'm going to go open. I'm going to look on my desktop and here it is the IROC color. Select this one as the 4K one, open image. And then I'm going to take the color, drag it into the base color here. And then what I'm going to do is shift duplicate this guy. I'm going to go click on the little folder here and I'm going to get the displacement one. So it is this one right here, the IDEM 16. So select that one and open image. If that done, make the flat, make it, change it from flat here to spherical and do the same thing with this guy here from flat to spherical. Shift A, go to search, type in bump and then grab your bump node here and then plug the color of this into the height. Then take the normal from your bump here and plug it into the normal on your principal BSDF shader. With that done, we can go shift A and we're going to search and we're going to get a texture coordinate. Grab our texture coordinate, put it here, take the generated and plug it into the vectors of both of our image textures. Now, if we go into camera view, we're going to see we have our moon. So let's make our moon pose a little bit more interesting. So just bring the slider down with our moon selected, double tap R just to move it around in your screen and make it a pose you like. So. Okay, I'm happy with this. So what I'm going to do is come here to my strength. I'm going to make it 0.5 and I'm going to come here to my gloss, my roughness on my principal PSDF shader. And I'm going to bring the roughness up just a little bit so my moon is not so glossy. So let's go hit our Z key and then go rendered. And we're going to see obviously there's nothing being lit in our scene because we don't have lights. So let's go just back to solid and let's go shift A. We're going to add in a light and we're going to make this a point light. Let's go back to our layout here. Go to our front orthographic view. With that lamp still selected, just move it here to the side down to about here. We're going to come to our light settings and we're going to make this the radius of it about 1.23 meters. And then we're going to go to camera view, go into our rendered view. And we're going to drag the strength up all the way to 120, 130, around about there. We're going to make the color a reddish kind of pink. 
And then we're gonna come here, G, Y, and bring it forward a little bit. Go to our front view again and go Shift, Duplicate. Bring this guy over here, and we're gonna make the color of this one blue. Now go into our camera view, and to make this look really awesome, go to our render settings here, and because we have our bloom enabled, we're gonna drag the threshold of that all the way down. We're gonna increase the intensity, and we're gonna just bring the radius out a little bit as well. So here we have it, a stylized moon. We can come back to our shading. If you want it to look even more wacky and stylized, just go into your camera view, render, and then mess around with the strength over here. So I'm gonna bring the strength all the way up to one, and I can play around with the distance as well to add some crazy detail. And here we have it, a stylized moon in Blender 2.83. Uh, you can rotate it around, get a pose you like, it's not meant to be realistic, it's just a stylized moon. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Go ahead, render it, mess around with the colors and the camera positions, make something awesome. I like to see what you guys make. I'll see you for another tutorial real soon.